Hi, my friends. Oh my gosh, I love, I love these days that we get to be together in our studios and look at the artwork that we've, that we've made. And um, today, I guess we have an unboxing. It's an unboxing video. Who got the video? I mean, who got the box? Who got the art? Stephanie got the box. I did. Who'd you get it from? I got it from Me. Lady Cheryl. Cheryl. Boy, okay. So we'll watch the video and then we'll talk? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Stay tuned. Let's see. This box contains a painting that's been around the world several times, I believe. And um, I haven't seen it yet. Not in person. So let's see. I'm responsible for what I think is the last layer. That's always lots of fun. Okay, here we go. Oh, look, she won't enjoy. That's, that's cute. Thanks, Cheryl. Maybe that was, I don't know if that was Cheryl or that was one of the previous art. Wow. Holy smokes, that's gorgeous. Woo! Check this out. Wow. See it? The bird. So beautiful. Mm. Oh, that bird, so like so everything beautiful. about it is just so gorgeous. Wow. wow. Okay. What am I supposed to do with this? How can I, how can I add on to this? It's already so beautiful. I'll just ruin it. See, I'm doomed. <laughs> I'm doomed. <laughs> <laughs> the challenge awaits. The challenge That's awaits right. indeed. That's right. I'm friggin' doomed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you going mean, to do? Exactly. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Mm. I'd like to ask uh, what kind of intervention uh, did the Cheryl do? Yes, I darkened off the shadows in the bottom of the um, the pond or the the area, and I also added a lot more gold and um, not really highlighted, but I defined um, a lot of the flowers and the objects that were floating down the. Um, the rose, roses, roses, flowers were dyed, and so we had the outside shapes of them. So I just added more colour to them and darkened the background, trying to add some more sort of shadows to the dark. So I worked in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> you were born <laughs> to like, bring out the light. Like the dark in your pond, right? Where you add kind yeah. of like the darks in your pond, where you add those layers of dimension. Mm. Yeah, so I added different sorts of darks, if that makes sense. So I added um, like alizarin crimson and ultramarine blue and burnt umber. So I made sure that they're all the dark, but there's slightly different colours of dark to add more depth. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do. This piece really is about depth, isn't it? It's really like this um, atmospheric and, and, yeah. and material. And, oh, it's just got so much. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's the space in it, like, as the space is developing. Yeah, yeah, I really, I really honestly added, don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> you guys have already added so many more sort of um, intuitive uh, perspective layers mm -hmm. that, you know, like not your your standard um, linear perspective, but more of that intuitive perspective. It's, it's kind of right. cool. I can't yeah, wait cool. to see it in person. Yeah. I know. I feel yeah. this piece specifically. Uh, really, when you see it in person, it 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 blows you away because it, it does. does not show on camera. Even though it looks gorgeous like mm -hmm. this, it, it does not reflect what no. it is in real life. I agree. I completely. Yeah, there are these subtleties and roses, every part of that that are like when you get close to it, it's just um, I don't know. It, oh, I find it so opening. Like I just. Ugh. Yeah, it's like you can, it's what Rose says, it's like you can dive into it. And then there's so many layers it. of yeah. depth in, in, like, it's truly layers of discovery, not only in the way it was built, but just the entire image is like that. Yeah. Oh, and true. that gave me another thought, too, in that Cheryl has, has brought these darks in, how it started with the sun, a sun print. Oh, mm. So isn't yeah. that interesting how it's like this oh, it's meta like experience of and light and yeah yeah even Ooh. more layers of meaning and even conceptual more. conceptualizations very deep very deep so stephanie have you did you have time yet to, to read all the information in the passport or no I, I have not had time but i'm going to do so this weekend that's that I might help you uh Oh, for sure. No, for sure. Usually no. it does for me anyway. Yeah, me too. It, it, there's a lot of inspiration in those those passports. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sure. yeah. They do. They take some perusing and mulling over 
beyond just seeing the visual, but then we have to kind of implement what was written from the heart. Yeah. True. And I think yeah, we're yeah, the right. final layer on that one, right? Yeah, I am. So that's it. <laughs> That's, that's the second piece we're finishing, people. That's exciting. Wow, wow. That's you're the cool. final layer. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah. Exciting. yeah. Because it is. <laughs> oh, it did go to Lara already, didn't it? That's yeah, right. It did. Lara did these beautiful gold, wow, wow. shimmering. Oh, I can't wait. To see the person. Kind of like my own pieces because they, they really don't translate to the camera. Mm um too true because i'm using wood grain and stuff and it, it's so subtle that right i kind of find it cool to be talking about a piece that we've all now seen in real life that that doesn't happen very often mm. where we've mm. actually all all physically mm. seen mm. this painting fiscally no. touched this piece yeah i hope everybody remembered to sign this one. <laughs> oh, thank you reminder i will i think i did <laughs> Cheryl, did you we sign it? Some signatures on the back. I yep. didn't we could just do Ducky sign. <laughs> <laughs> and just stick it on the back. Now, if I know I forgot to sign one, and I know somebody else did too, so we'll just have to bring our, our pens. And when we do the exhibition, we'll some of us will have to sign some of the paintings uh, before they go on the wall. <laughs> yes, our exhibition. So folks out there in TV land, if you, if you know of a great place that... Um, is looking for an internationally renowned exhibition. Think of us. We've got uh, how many how many pieces in this part of our project are we showing? Six. Six, because there are six of us. And seven small six. ones. And seven yeah. small six. ones. Thirteen seven small pieces. Ones. The plan is for us to each have at least one of our own pieces also in the ex exhibition so that yeah. people get to see the wide range of influences that went into the, the collaborative pieces. It's yeah. going to be something beautiful. Yeah. Very beautiful. Yes, we actually have a proposal already. So um, we've sent it out a couple times and no bites yet. So the happy, lucky place is still ready and waiting for us. Yes, for sure. <laughs> that much closer. And I think we need to sign off for today. We've, hey. unless there's any other thing we need to talk about that I'm missing. No, because I, I think we've hit, hit our time here. So. Thanks for joining us. This was really exciting to see how this painting is coming along. And um, I guess, I guess, uh, Stephanie, you're going to un unbox this when you're done? <laughs> when you finish it? Oh, yeah. What did again? the final person do with? OK, I yeah, guess yeah. I know. Because we had one uh, from Ross, too. He, he unveiled yeah. the, the final layer of uh, Cheryl's painting, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Right. That's right. right. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's so, going to be your tune soon, Stephanie. No, it wouldn't, you wouldn't, it wouldn't have been Cheryl's painting. because. Yes, yeah, the yeah, one with the Azaro head. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I was thinking of Denise's painting because I haven't seen Denise's yet. Okay, yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> okay, well, thanks so much. We'll, we'll get back Thank together you. again and look at some more of our work. Yes. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.